I decided to become an emergency responder because uh, several years ago, um, my dad went unresponsive. And um, I felt that I was not, uh, well, at that time I was not equipped with the knowledge or the skills to, to, to assist him um, properly. And um, during that time, um, responses um, from EMS in, in the country that I, I came from was like um, like very limited. So that even sort of uh, brought up a, a profound feeling of, of um, you know, like incapable of doing anything to help him. And um, I had the opportunity thereafter to look at EMS in, in New York City and that, that sort of propelled me to say, you know what, I would, I would do this now because I, um, I would be able to be in a position where I can actually help somebody else because I wasn't able to help him. I would say um, for someone who wants to, to, to um, you know, like do something in remembrance of 9-11 uh, is to do something selfless. And um, um, that, that, there's a range of things that we can think about to, to do something selfless, but I would say on an, an, an easy basis to, to, to volunteer. In, in some organization to donate to a foundation that is associated with 9-11 or even easier learn stop the bleed get into that program because um, that program can actually be an act of service at some point in time you might not need it the day that you learn it but sometime in the future you would see just having that skill set just having that um, knowledge and, and, and skills to be able to to address um, life-threatening um, hemorrhage is definitely a service because in an MCI situation, help is is, is always going to be um, is going to be needed. So if you have such a skill set, yeah, you can actually assist in in um, in uh, saving somebody's life through that um, knowledge that you would now have. So I think that in, in itself is an act of service.